Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about Multiverse X and where Eagled might be going next. So if you're not familiar, Multiverse X is a layer one blockchain. So it's a blockchain that people can build decentralized applications on top of. And they've tried to push out into spaces like payments, for example, like the metaverse, obviously, given the name, a lot of different things, hence the multi and the multiverse, a lot of different things are trying to incorporate into the ecosystem. So I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'll leave that up to you if you want to explore that for yourself. What I want to talk about more is the token eagled and where we might expect its price action to be taking us. I think a lot of people, when it comes to a bull market, that's the question foremost on a lot of people's minds is what's going to happen with the token is right now a value zone or is it not? How can we maybe assess some of those questions? So with Eagle, one of the things that I want to look at first here is actually look at how it compares to Bitcoin. So this is basically the Eagle Bitcoin valuation here. So if this is going up, it means that Eagle is outperforming Bitcoin. If it's going down, it means that Bitcoin is outperforming Eagle. What we can see is that early on, really last cycle, Eagle was a massive outperformer relative to Bitcoin. Really, it was this uptrend against Bitcoin that whole time, which is impressive because Bitcoin obviously went up a ton last cycle. Eagle went up more. But then what we're seeing now is throughout the bear market and then even going into last year where Bitcoin did really well, Eagle was bleeding against Bitcoin that entire time. But an interesting thing seems to be maybe starting to play out here where we had a notable reversal here, this massive almost 60% candle of Eagle against Bitcoin here in this week back in October of 2023. And it looks like we might be setting the stage for reversal against Bitcoin. And that's important because with a lot of altcoins, the question people ask is, should you just be in Bitcoin instead? Or is it actually reasonable to hold this alternative asset? And what will often happen with these assets is that there's mean reversion at some point. If they've been bleeding against Bitcoin for a long time, there's going to be a point where that reverses and goes to the opposite direction. It makes up ground, mean reverts against the opposing asset. And so this looks like a very possibility here of us setting in a low, maybe trying to set in a higher low here and start a potential uptrend against Bitcoin. Still early to know, but that's one of the things that I think is going to be useful to keep an eye on with Eagle and gives an idea of does it make sense to be in it versus Bitcoin? That's something that people often ask. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Now I want to flip over to some of our models that we have here at the channel, talk about what they're seeing with Eagle and where they think things might be going. So I want to start off with shorter term considerations, kind of in the short term, how do things look? So this is our short term upside downside potential indicator or UDPI. So higher values mean higher risk, lower values mean lower risk. And so what we can see is that really it gets to these really extreme high levels at around local tops. That's when kind of in that short term, days to weeks time frame, things are getting exhausted and some cooling off might be needed and then vice versa to the downside. What you'll see is that as we went up to these local tops here, we got pretty extended, you know, local top consolidated, rallied back up after risk had reset to this local top here. Then we cooled way off on the short-term UDPI all the way back down to negative 3.62, really levels we hadn't seen since really these depths of these bottoms back here. And now we're starting to move back up again. But notably, if these levels might act as possible resistance zones again, sort of like we've seen back in the past as well as some of those levels, we suggest in the short term, Eagle might have more room to run. We're still well below zero. These got us up to about one and to about 1.7, closer to two respectively. So it would be reasonable to think that another target like that could be possible. And it's also nice to see us rallying out of such a low level, like for example, back here, we put in a really nice move, especially if you carry it on all the way through here from these low levels, we're coming off that exact same level. So we could have some room to move. Nothing's guaranteed, of course, it's gonna be dependent on the broader market. Does Bitcoin continue to look bullish? Does the broader markets continue to look bullish, et cetera. But so far, so good. And I think this is a much better position to be in now than for example, back here or back, especially here. Okay, so that's one short term consideration. Another one we can look at is our trend confidence indicator or TCI. So this is different. This is caring about the trend. And really the way you can read this model is look at how price is trending and look at how the TCI is trending and see, are they similar or are they different? So as an example here, as we went down here, you'll notice the TCI started to trend up and then price followed along. And then when these two things are going together, that's a good sign suggesting that this has more room to run. But then when you see this opposing move where TCI is trending down, that might suggest that we're getting to a weakening of the trend. The trend doesn't necessarily have to be over at that point, but it's weakening and you might expect a deeper correction at some point in the not too distant future. So we know we rallied up here, then we had that correction. 
But then we started rallying back up on the TCI, price moving up also. And as long as the TCI is trending with price, that's a good sign. What I'd be getting more concerned about is if we start seeing that reversal, where if the TCI starts trending down, there might still be some more upside we could see, but it would suggest that the main majority of that move is probably in, and that we're getting closer to the end before some kind of a correction. We're not there right now, so in the short term, that also is a good sign. So not financial advice, you should make of these data as you will, but that's the way that I'm seeing these data right now. And we can also look then at longer term. And I think a lot of people, this is really what they care about. Short term, anything can happen. There's a lot of volatility. That's just crypto. But longer term, that's where the real money is made in a bull market. So what does Eagle look like from that perspective? So this is our long term upside downside potential indicator. So this is reactive to moves that play out over months to even years, much longer in its time horizon. And we'll notice that into this rally here, we chewed up a lot of that longer term upside potential. We then had to correct, kind of consolidate. We cooled way off all the way down to negative 2.5, basically. Quite low, really levels we hadn't seen since the depths of bear markets or really these deep corrections in the past. And now we're starting to move back out of that. And that's, again, a good sign that in a bull market, when you see these massive resets in risk, that can set the stage for that next expansion to go beyond. So still early, but it would not be surprising to me at all if Eagle can break up above these levels from back here in December and be able to realize some of this upside potential broader markets allowing. So that's a good sign, right? You'd much rather be down here than up here like we were back in December. And the other thing we can look at in the longer term that's also bullish is the forecast model. So this is a model that outputs the probability of upside in six months. So basically the likelihood that the price will be above where it is right now, six months in the future. So you basically just read it as a probability. So in this case, 0.06 would be a 6% chance of upside in six months. Something like back over here, like 93, we 93% chance of upside in six months. And you'll see with the forecast model is it really waited until right around here before it started getting more optimistic, really kind of uh, mid 2023 before starting getting optimistic. Then really, as we got to the bottom in September, and as we went through here, where it really blasted off to these really high probability estimates. And indeed, it's gotten that very right. We've now been rallying well up into the upside here. And it currently remains very bullish, currently 95% chance of upside it's estimating in the next six months. And so what that just suggests to me is that the position to take is probably more reasonable to be bullish than bearish right now. According to this model, it thinks it makes a lot more sense to be bullish than bearish. And obviously 95% is not 100%. Nothing is ever guaranteed, but you much prefer to be there than down here at 8% or 6% or whatever it was as we we're going into this massive bear market. So this is a hopeful sign. This remains hopeful. The data haven't really changed. This, I think, is an optimistic outlook for Eagles. So when you take it all together, in the short term, it's very plausible to me that this rally could have more gas in the tank before it has to maybe consolidate, cool off for a bit. We're also seeing the TCI confirming that this uptrend so far looks healthy. But longer term, Eagle looks like it's in a pretty decent spot. And so ultimately the decision of how far can it run this bull market is something that you kind of have to make that decision for yourself. Do you think that Eagle is gonna be a better place to be than some other asset? That's up to you. Obviously I'm not giving any advice here, but if we're just looking at Eagle itself and how it's been behaved in history and how it's behaving now, it's looking like a value zone, at least for itself. And so we'll have to wait and see how things play out. But if we do see Eagle continue to reverse against Bitcoin and start outperforming there and then start to realize some of this upside potential it has and this bullishness of the forecast model sees, I think we could see it make up some ground and maybe target some of these higher levels that we haven't been in all the way since, for example, 2022. All right. So if you like the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, give the video a like and follow us over on X, a lot of updates about our models and more over there. And go to our website, partydigital.io to see live data from our models and more.